Welcome back into the Starfield, you constellation schmucks. Starfield has been officially launched for about a week now, so we thought it'd be a great time to discuss our initial impressions and also take a look at what others, like yourselves, have been getting up to in and out of the game. Fair warning, we're focusing mainly on early game content and avoiding spoilers as much as possible. We're going to start diving deeper into specific factions and quest lines starting with next episode, so make sure to get into the comments and let us know which ones of those you might be interested in. With all that said, I hope you're buckled up and ready for warp, because we're headed into the star field. Welcome back into the Starfield. In case you've been wondering who's been hovering over your shoulder, breathing down your neck, watching every move you make while you're pirating your starship, that's me, your host, Joe. <laughs> it's a condition and I'm talking with my therapist about it, okay? Joining me today are the two people with the ability to only age when they're being looked at. It's Chase and Zach. Don't look at me. <laughs> I will live forever. No, because no, like when someone looks at you, you age the amount that you would have in that oh. time. Well, just then, instantly. Damn it. Yeah. So hide away and then you will. Oh, and then I'll just die. Eventually. No one would know. <laughs> someone will look at you and you'll just drop to dust <laughs> after like a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> if I become a hermit in the woods, will right. anyone know? Exactly. Well, guys, uh, game's been out for a week now. How's it feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Chase, you have the most experience out of all of us. Zach, you have the least. There has only been one patch, and it was patched during early access. So would that even be called like a day one patch? I think that's like early access patch. I don't know. I don't know. They haven't done one since. Um, but I thought we'd go over a couple of the points on there that I found interesting. Not all of them, because um, a lot of it's just like very vague, and they were purposely being pretty vague because I think they're trying to avoid spoilers. Right. Um, that makes sense. They fixed some crashes with uh, viewing the credits and repeatedly loading some saves inside of a ship. Fixed an issue where sometimes hair would not appear on characters. I'm sure that was horrifying. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, addressed an issue that sometimes caused face animations to move abruptly. Oh, yes. There's oh, an... I wish I could have seen that. I feel like that was, we saw that in Remnant. Like, everyone, when they talked, was just like... <laughs> <laughs> um, there were some good moments. Fixed an issue that would cause an undesirable texture blend on the coastline. You know, can't have those certain types of people there on your coastline. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I made an outpost by a coastline and there is a giant square of just sand in the middle what? and it's it's like i have this beautiful view cliffside view of the coast and there uh, by the ocean is this giant square of sand dude and some people's kids man they just make stupid stuff on the beach yeah chase yeah, i know you're something. gonna love this one uh yeah. fixed a rare issue that could cause companions to float in the air oh <laughs> I, I know for a fact that you, you were are surprised that that was considered fixed. <laughs> I've seen lots of floating things. Yes. So. Fixed an issue that could cause some ship modules to become mis misaligned. I saw a video of someone who uh, their ship, like the cockpit, took off without the ship. Yeah, I saw that. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I want it that. wasn't even just the cockpit. It, cockpit. It was like the interior it was yeah. just like the ship interior took off <laughs> it just makes me wonder how that happens yeah. like right. it's just working and working and working and then suddenly you're like all right well shit's broke um there were some quest fixes around first to fight first to die uh just an issue where contraband scans would not occur and then you wouldn't be able to land in new atlantis no oh, um, i like the first part of that <laughs> Deal with uh, contraband scans literally every time I jump to a city. Oh, there's this one is very vague. Fixed how a location would appear near a hidden Earth landmark. Like they're being o obviously vague because they're not. Yeah. It's an Easter egg they don't want to give away. Uh, or something like that. There's a lot of Earth landmarks you can go to. Oh, there's a lot like... of Earth landmarks, Chase. <laughs> In general. Yeah. Just a but... thing. 
Have you visited Earth recently? <laughs> you mean saying. in the future? <laughs> yeah, in the future. Uh, um, just once. Uh, mm -hmm. Fixed a rare issue that could potentially trap the player in the facility. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> That's um, a little scary. Addressed an infrequent issue where spacer ship didn't occur or didn't correctly appear for a radiant quest. Fixed an unlikely issue that could appear during revelation, depending on how player interaction with the emissary um, or interacted with the emissary. Don't, don't words are hard right now. Don't talk about that guy. Oh, don't talk about them. I don't oh. know. I, that means nothing don't read to me. I haven't gotten that far. I haven't gotten that far. I know. Dude, I'll be your have, spoiler like, these... control because, like, if I don't know about it, I'll be like, mm, stop they it. have these huge, like, proper nouns, like all games do nowadays, and that's it. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, there's really, and there's a lot of so there's just some very vague fixes around certain quests, and then that was about it. Like they had some visual ones, um, but they were generally like fixed visual issues in general. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. not a crazy patch as far as they're not like Baldur's Gate right patch notes where yeah. they go into excruciating detail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like um, the detail, but it's all good. But let's move on to talking about some characters, guys. Oh. And building our characters, yeah. and having oh my and God. what what we did for our characters. Zach, I know you're the newest. It's probably freshest in your mind. You guys are watching my character building right now, but in fast oh, forward. Okay. But Zach, oh, how did your character building go? And what's Dude. your character like? Okay, so I must admit that of my five hours of playtime, probably two of those were in creator. Um. Sounds That's right. just how it goes. It's kind of guaranteed when I boot up something, especially Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate, I've lost a lot of time in the character creator because it's just fun to like dink around with stuff. Mm -hmm. So I made just a very loose rendition of Samus from okay. the Metroid Prime series because I wanted a bounty hunter. So nice. I just modeled the character kind of based off of that. So and I had a good time doing it. It was great. So did, then did you go for the bounty hunter background? I did. I put Bounty Hunter on there and I put Wanted under there. Mm -hmm. um, Any other uh, traits? A wanted Bounty yeah, Hunter? Oh yeah, my a Wanted goodness. Bounty Hunter. Who would have who would have freaking <laughs> thought, man? Why didn't I think of that? It's two sides um, of the same coin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I did the Dream Home um, nice. trait as well. And I have no way of getting to my Dream Home at this stage in the game. So I just pay money to some entity for some unknown reason. So we we looked it up. He can get to his home. They just don't tell him about it. Yeah, I don't no, know why. They do tell you about it. You got to go talk to Galbank. They don't even give him a quest to say go talk to Galbank. I don't know when he gets that quest, but he's he's running around New Atlantis for free. I don't know. Free roaming around. It yeah. happened to me. I just had a thing that said. Actually, I had a mission that just said uh, to go to my house, go visit my house. But then I looked was up. It a, I was, was looking it an up activity how to, or was it a quest? It was a quest. Okay. Yeah, like know. a side quest or something. Maybe it's an activity. How soon Anyways, in the game did you get to it? I think it might be an activity. So We okay. looked at activities and it was not okay. there. Check all around. Check just the all thing. Because um, I looked it up and I was like, well, how do I go about paying it? So I just looked it up online. And they're like, oh, yeah, you can just go to Gal Bank and talk to the guy there. So I went and talked to him and he told me a bunch about it. But it's, I think that the description for that trait is not well written. Because it looks like it says that you pay one hundred twenty-five thousand a week. No, it says you pay your mortgage every no, week. No, it's a mortgage. You pay your mortgage yeah. every week. You don't have to. The oh. guy's like, yeah, if you're late on your payment, that's cool. That's you don't have awesome. To, as long as you end up paying it in full or just deciding to foreclose. Dude, so nonchalant. Like, right? What happens? It what happens whatever, if you man. don't? Do they come after you? No. He said it's just... no big deal. There's nothing. They won't do anything. They're just. Yeah. Pay it if you want to. <laughs> Apparently they okay. got this Maybe, maybe you won't out. be able to access the house. I don't know. Like it, it'll be locked. I'm not sure. Um, but it's only 125,000 credits. It's really. I you wish get that really my quickly. bank was Gal Bank. Right. Yo, dude. Uh, Living a different life. Right. It's, it's so it's it's really not a well described trait, but yeah, I, I paid off my home. I did. I did um, space scoundrel. Mm -hmm. I, space I, so I, I was doing kind of a uh, like I'm thinking of my build as like a Nuka girl meets uh, like Tiny Tina. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. 
So just Lots like, of explosions. Yeah, very adventurous, but like high octane, likes likes a, a fight, likes to build things, um, to like and do things in like a, a more elaborate and unnecessary fashion. Um, ah, okay. And Brilliant. so uh, her story is, and so I did, I did the Dream Home, I did Adoring Fan, and I did Neon Street Rat. And her story I is that. Adoring fan. Yeah. <laughs> so her story is that she grew up on Neon and she was actually part of like a wealthy family that had a penthouse there, but her parents were murdered while she was at school and she came home and found them dead. And then like, but she's like so intuitive about the whole thing. She just leaves without taking anything and goes into hiding herself at like age 10. Um, and just doesn't give anyone her real name or anything like that. People don't find their, her parents' bodies for like a week. Um, and then she ends up, once she's like 25, decides to leave Neon and go to um, uh, Argos. She gets a job at Argos, but she's still kind of a, a scoundrel. So she hacks into Argos' system and has them order her a house to live <laughs> at, which is the Gal Bank thing. Uh. Uh. Because she doesn't have any credit to go off of, and her, and so she goes by Maybe Anna her Graves, aunt died. but that's not her real name. Maybe her aunt died, and and it's that home it's passed it on to her. Nope, mm. no, nope. she hacked it. Into, she hacked, hacked it and, and had okay. it put in there. Unfortunately, yeah. though, she, when she goes and visits, she finds out that uh, she forgot to have it furnished. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, important detail. Uh, you need the things. Yep. I wish there was an auto furnish option, right? I mean, or maybe there is, and I don't know about it. But I bought the uh, the one in neon, the, the 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 whatever skyscraper apartment, just to see what the inside was like. It's empty, and you have to do like build it all yourself. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's so it's basically exactly just like the um, the dream home. Yeah. But uh, you have to pay two hundred thirty-five thousand credits for it, which I was like, "Oh, yeah. it's double!" Oh, God, I'll keep that. <laughs> yeah. You have to pay it up front. Yeah, That's... you talk to the guy at Aurora, or at, um, not Aurora, the guy at uh, Astral Lounge who sells Aurora. He, you can buy the penthouse from him. But... See if you can get a low, low, uh, or a loan for the low, low price of whenever you want to pay the loan. We should mention yeah. that during this episode, we're only going to be like doing the beginning, talking about kind of early stuff oh, in yeah. the game. We're going to avoid spoilers. We're going to try to avoid spoilers. Um, anything that's like meaningful anyways. So if you're yeah. looking for spoilers, wrong place. Um, if you want to talk, listen to a couple people talk about the fun they're having in the game, right place. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I just put on my dream home uh, that I, I walked through the other day. Oh, uh, dude, it's got some really interesting. It's two textures. bedroom, two bathroom, big patio. It's got uh, a nice open kitchen, dining room, living room area. But yeah, timeless Chase, doors. How about, how about your character, Chase? So I picked Space Scoundrel as well, and then I did Bounty. No, I did Wanted, uh, Free Free Star Settler or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I can't remember the third one. So I picked that and I, I figured since I don't know the world at all, I didn't really want my character to my character to either because I wanted to, you know, I, I thought it felt kind of weird to be like going into the game being like not knowing anything about the world. And but then this guy's like, oh, yeah, I grew up here and know everything about all this stuff. And it's like, I don't. So mm -hmm. I figured he like grew up on a farm or something in the free star collective and then i don't know at the ripe age of 25 or 30 or whatever <laughs> you sure his parents got murdered too and got off the farm i don't know left the well, farm for some reason I, I only got into that detail because i actually started writing a journal and i went started i stopped playing the game and started going back and looking through the quests and being like okay i'm gonna write a journal from the perspective of my character and uh that's cool for my own benefit but I, I did it in one note because a bunch of people on Discord were asking for me to have it in a shareable format somehow. So I'm going to figure out how to share it on one note when I'm caught up. But Nice. Yeah. And yeah, like, I mean, I, it definitely, when you do the full role-playing aspect of it, it definitely gets you more involved in what's happening. So yeah. I think it's cool. 
um yeah so that's about it went and then you know went from the farm to a shitty mine mining job on argos or through argos well let's talk a little bit about the beginning of the game um or about kind of where we're at in the game and what we thought about the intro and stuff uh i'm very interested to hear what zach thinks so far since he's really not very far into the game Oh, well, I mean, my first experience with the game was very much like I must mine everything that mm -hmm. is directly in front of me all the time. Um, literally no rock was, <laughs> was going to survive. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah, I, I mined literally everything. So in this do you know room... You can, do you know you can aim your miner to make it shoot the laser more intense and it'll mine faster? Did not no. know that. Wait, what? Yep. Aim when you're mining. What? Like zoom, mm -hmm. like you would with like a scope. Yep. You know how what? long it takes to mine a kyelomite or whatever. Yeah, it takes forever. It takes like two seconds if you are. Oh my aiming. god! What? Yeah. You just wait till we get into the next section, Chase. I'm, oh, I, I expect all your neck, all your info in the next section. I've I've got a lot of stupid little tidbits yeah. like that. Oh my god! So but yeah, Chase, I. Zach, uh, oh no, sorry, Joe. Go ahead. No, where are? What are you doing? Where are you at? How are you liking it? Dude, okay, so the game's a little slow start, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. I was I was kind of expecting that based on the number of hours of gameplay that we saw from just the directs and the interviews and things. It's like, all right, cool, you've got 100 hours of gameplay without even touching the main story. So I was like, all right, cool, no problem. <laughs> Sapping the frontier as it comes in. <laughs> yeah. Barrett! <laughs> so, um, yeah, I I am overwhelmed with the fact that it is this whole game is a giant rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, I was like kind of um I don't know how to it's such a weird sensation. I was like, oh I've gotta go do this thing. This game wants me to go do this thing. And then I stopped for a minute when I got to it uh New Atlantis because I realized I was in an airport. I was like, oh, I'm familiar with being in an airport. They got the vibe down, right? And there's this giant security office that's just right front and center. I was like, I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna go talk to the security guards just because I want to. Um and then like all of a sudden i've got a quest i got a job at the security office the dude's like i'm going to interview you right now i need help um and i got a job and then i i am in the same room listening to a conversation about a crazy scientist in some part of the city that's next to a tree and i got two quests immediately and i'm like shit this that is was, gonna go deep fast that was that was it for me too on the way to the lodge i like got picked up like three or four side quest from just hearing people talk as i walk by we all <laughs> met like, the tree guy i yeah, like the tree guy oh yeah it was funny i i went to him the entire time i was just like why don't you just cut it down yeah <laughs> <laughs> they might have to i don't um, know yet oh uh but yeah i haven't continued beyond the, the first quest step it is it is all just one giant rabbit hole after another rabbit hole it's just like, oh, were you thinking about going and doing that mission you're on? Well, you better plug your ears, mister, because everyone's talking about stuff for you to do. Oh, my God. Well, it's so fun to embrace it, too, because if you mm -hmm. hear something that somebody says and you just listen long enough or pay attention to it long enough, you get the quest and you can go do that later or you could do it right now and you could just right. deviate completely from what you're into. Well, and definitely uh, if you're if you're into that sort of stuff, a lot of times you'll see people gathered around talking. Stop and like yeah. listen to the conversation yeah you can't talk to any of them because they're in the conversation right then but there'll be like a couple of no-name people and an and a, one or two named people and at some point the no-name people are going to go away and the name person will have stuff for you to do but if you just it's left so, they yeah. would they wouldn't be there anymore i don't think I've noticed always that too. always have your subtitles up because i've mm -hmm. had people comment on quests that i've completed where they'll be like, hey, did you hear such and such happened? And it's so interesting to hear people's reactions to like the things you've done in the world. Right. So those definitely keep ridiculous. those subtitles on. So have you guys gone and signed up with the Vanguard yet? Fuck no. Fuck the Vanguard. Uh, Fuck the UC. I, so I'm starting I'll in the UC eventually. because that's appropriate for Samus's background because she starts with the military and then mm -hmm. she says, Fuck you guys and goes and does freelancing um and bounty hunting so it's kind of starting there and i don't like the vibe i'll tell you right now it just is did, not did you go through the museum 
No, I haven't. I was. I I, I, I walked next to it. And the I, museum oh, is I go very. To, it'll fill you in on the lore. They for some reason they expect you to join the vanguard immediately so that you can get backstory for the game. But I watched a friend play it the other night, and they did that, and I was like, "Are you kidding me? I missed this whole lore dump because right. I just didn't join well, the UC vanguard." The okay. thing ah. is, too, it is very biased. Like, it's very shaded mm. towards the UC and, like, uh, oh, the Freestar threw a fit. And then... <laughs> Dude, I love that, though. You, you can we feel We graciously the, the... offered to, to yeah. do this thing instead. Though there are some times when, like, they talk about, um, you know, they won the war, the colony war. But in, they, you know, they struck a deal, the armistice, with the Freestar. But then that wasn't enough for the Freestar. They also wanted the uc to be investigated and like the higher-ups to be um put on trial for their actions during it i'm assuming their actions with the xeno uh warfare mm -hmm. but but at the same time they outlawed mechs too which the u or the freestar collective used plenty of so i'm not sure why they didn't have to also get their higher-ups have trials uh, and stuff. because it's obvious that using a mech in warfare is not as uh, awful and deplorable as mind controlling aliens to be your frontline soldiers. Uh huh. <sighs> I guess that, that one, that's a pretty horrible. clear line. Like, I they're feel considered like. like giant weapons because Xeno warfare is horrible. I guess, it's. I don't know. I don't like, know. It's, it's, have you found the facility that? The research facility for I just, I Xeno just, Warfare. I no, I understand. I understand up, how horrible I think Xeno this Warfare is, it, isn't it? I just don't. Yeah, this, this, yeah. this is here. not it. This is the Crimson uh, Fleet. I know, but first they have some aliens in there. I'm though. pretty sure. No, that is but, it. That they took over a but research facility. But they outlawed both, so I feel yeah. like there should be an issue, a big issue with the mech stuff as well, especially yeah. since mech parts are contraband too. Mm. Well, that's because of the treaty. Right, but I, I don't know. I just feel like there should have been also a little bit the other way. But anyways, three higher-ups got the death penalty for the Xeno Warfare. Oh, well, yeah. good. Wow, that's, that's awesome. crazy. Good for them um, being dead. Good for them. <laughs> you hate the UC with a passion. Um, Xeno Warfare, man, just, it just, especially in this it's, context. It's pretty it's, cool, though. Uh, I read some of the, like, scientist logs and stuff along the way about it. Um, yeah, it's fucked up. I want to talk. I I haven't I haven't talked about my experience. Oh yeah, go so you ahead. Got, Your you experience. got Zach's go ahead. Zach's virgin go ahead. experience. Hi, <laughs> baby. Um, yeah. So I I found it to be like actually pretty overwhelming at the beginning, and I don't know, like especially just the level of detail, like going into that first facility is like mm -hmm. crazy because I like to look at every nook and cranny and look for every ounce of loot that I can. Yeah. And holy cow, it's like. It's you, so much. You've got to start like, putting I get, blinders on. Dude, no. I'm like a loot goblin. I have to get every <laughs> little thing. That's how I have uh. almost half a million credits because I'm a loot goblin. I have so much storage space on my but dinky little ship. sell it to? Everybody. And here's the <laughs> other thing. So once I made it past that stage, I met, went to Neon and got introduced to the wonderful drug Aurora. And... A little, a little backstory on that. I, since my Fallout Four days, where you've got Jet, which has the same slowdown time effect during combat, I think it's like, just the most fun thing to do, is pop your Jet and then just like run around and shoot people while time is slowed. It's just like, so fun. So I was looking in the game. I was like waiting to find the stimulant or whatever that gets you the same effect. And turns out it's this <laughs> super hard to get contraband drug. So I was like, all right. Well, I'm already committed, so I'm going to set up my whole character around this one thing. So I had to, like, figure out how to get the recipe for it, figure out how to make it off-world, figure out how I <laughs> Dude, could Dude, you got a whole it. Breaking Bad <laughs> Dude, it was like, your own. It's like 20 or 30 hours of just me getting to a point where I have it on hand all the time. It's fun. And it's, like, I can consistently use it. And I literally am, like permanently addicted to it so like i have 20 percent less oxygen 20 minus 20 carry weight like i have so many negative effects just so <laughs> i can use it but i was like i'm gonna do this um, so that's where i spent a bunch of that time 
He's well, not doing that. So I have to find a bunch of general traders to get the resources for right. it. So I know everyone I got to go sell to. Great. Man, yeah. you're a drug dealer. I'm, I'm the only one and, who uses it. No, no, I don't sell it. I don't right. sell it. I'm the only himself. one. It's all for me. He's got a warehouse full of his own supply. <laughs> That's exactly God right. Damn. Yep. Advance. All right. I kind of had a question because uh, early on in the game, you meet Constellation. You meet a few members of Constellation. Um, and then throughout the game, you meet a few more. Um, but without spoiling anything, which constellation member are your guys? Is your guys' favorite constellation member, and why? I found the constellation members very boring when I first started. I was like, "Oh, that's the lady who believes in science. That's the guy who believes in religion." And yes, they're always in conflict with each other, saying, mm -hmm. "Just I don't know." It seemed the characters seemed really flat and one dimensional and then i played for 20 or 30 hours and was like okay these people are these i like these people it's fun to be around them and <laughs> but uh, yeah at first i was just like oh whatever yeah. um but I, I think barrett is easily my favorite yeah he's very charming he's very charming and like a lot of stuff that happens later he tells you a lot about his philosophies mm -hmm. and i just find myself aligned with him a lot on all that stuff so i just I like him. He's a, he's a good guy to have around. How about you, Zach? I don't have one because I haven't met any of them. You haven't gotten to the lodge yet? Nope. Fuck oh. that. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but uh, I will say that the like beginning quest where Barrett gives you his ship, honestly, it's a super flat start and awkward start. Yep. It, it was it just like the writing of it to get you right into the game, I felt was needlessly flat. And Completely it agree. Way better. It's yep. my only criticism of it right now and I, it's it, why it's i thought the story was away. flat uh like, from the start of the game yeah it's too easy though to think that there's nothing there because like right now without knowing that there's all this content that i have to expect i and i was just handed the game heard nothing and i still try not to listen to very much at all but if i had known nothing whatsoever about this game's existence and it was handed to me i'd probably would have stopped playing it pretty quickly <laughs> yeah <laughs> it it does seem odd that he suddenly just like trusts you with the ship though i mean he did put a killer robot in there with you to the, well, the, also the, the dialogue the, the problem i had with it too is that they give you dialogue options but none of them meant anything so you started the game thinking that your choices didn't mean anything that's and that true. your dialogue options yeah. were worthless but exactly what you do later on but yeah i think in that yeah. particular instance they really didn't yeah what you said zach where it was just like to get you into the game too quick i, I think yeah it was that because that's exactly what it was they want you to have the spaceship asap don't do anything to earn it they're just like here you go and then then vosco's like oh the ships won't stop coming unless we go kill this bad guy and it's like well why don't we just go to the lodge like i don't understand yeah. why they rail railroaded you into that as well and it's like so you have to go fight an army a small yeah. army of raiders right. Uh, just a mining guy like why did they yeah. expect you would even remotely survive that why right. did you survive that like it just <laughs> yeah. it was just yeah it was just kind of silly the logistics of it as well like the the writing aside is like okay let's speed you into the game and then immediately stop you and force you to do something and it's very jarring so i i just i wasn't like too into it but i didn't care enough to really be bothered by it yeah it's just like wow i didn't expect just this wait to for the start. alternate start mod and you'll be good you know just oh, like okay cool. well i'm hey i'm a really big fan of andreja uh just because she's very like she's a, a solo soul and she like doesn't take shit from anyone uh yeah and then i also obviously love vasco I think he's great. There was a time oh, yeah, I, when I course. was raiding a base and some people downed Vasco, and I was like, oh, you! And I just charged in and was just like, <gasps> blap, 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 blap. And the guy started crawling away. And I'm like, and I just like killed everyone else and walked over and was like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> it's like it's like your dog. You <laughs> shot your dog or something. And then I walked over to Vasco. I was like, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> so he's like, so, I'm fine. I'm like, good. Take that, I you picked... evil bastards. I remember now that you said Vasco. I remember my third perk that I, or trait that I picked. It was introvert, so that I could have Vasco as oh, my only companion. Because nice. I was like, I don't want anyone else. I'll, I'll tell you who I do not care for. At least as my character, I'm not sure. Maybe if I was playing a different way, I would. Sarah. She is such a goody tissues. She won't let me do anything bad. Always when she's fussing with her, when I'm with her. This is this I is just, yeah. I love, and, and also, she gets in the way of everything. All the time, she's always getting in the way. 
I have, I'm going to show you guys. I have, I have video evidence that she is horrible. Uh, I, she's always complaining about like, watch this. how much stuff I'm picking up. So I was talking, I was doing this mission that Zach, you were literally just doing. Oh um, yeah. And she gets in the way of the lady. She couldn't get through the door for like three seconds. <laughs> and then she comes back and she can't get through the door for a second. And then um, there's this one. Sarah um, in the I'm, way. One, I'm trying two, to take a picture of this bugged out guy who got his face through a thing. And she walks right in front as I start to snap the picture. <laughs> no, no, stop it. And then Sarah. there's this. I was trying to get a good view. I went to the moon. And I was like, there's so much to do. I just landed in a spot and there's so much around me. There's several outposts. What the hell is that? That. Oh, in it's Sarah helmet. in my face. I've had, I've had Vasco do that. He so spawns on you. So my favorite thing to do is just to leave Sarah at the station. Yep. Bye, she... Sarah. <laughs> the hands. Oh, she's dude, like, where she's are you upset. going? And then here's another time I was leaving. And she's like, oh, it takes off. Dude, so, yeah. it's That's hilarious awesome. that you could even do that. Amazing. Yeah, um, yeah I, I also like... Andreja, she's going to be my romance option if that's a oh, possible yeah. thing. Yeah. So what kind of things, we already started talking about it a little bit, but what kind of things did you wish you know starting, like going into it? Like Chase, you just told me something that blew my mind that I hadn't, I haven't, I've been playing and I had, didn't know anything about, which was aiming mm -hmm. while using the laser cutter for it to be more powerful. Yeah. Uh, I did not know that. Yeah, did you guys know. find the doors on the side of... Um, research facilities that are like emergency exits that you can cut through to get inside the building no i've i've now learned that those things exist because of a different mission that i did that that was part of a you I know what i'm, what talking, I'm about? talking about if you know mm -hmm. you know if you don't you know you'll find out cool yeah um there's just like that's you're a good one too big red doors, that one's right? fun yeah big red doors yeah. yeah big red doors and they got like pegs and you like zap the pegs and the door can come yeah. down um, so uh, yeah, also, I've, I've probably seen them, but I didn't know about it. One thing that I thought was not well explained was scanning. Hmm. Um, I didn't realize that you just click a on things. Cause like you oh, have to get yeah. close enough for one. Didn't know that. So I was like trying to scan plants that were highlighting blue, but they weren't highlighting teal. So I couldn't oh, scan them. Sure. Um, and I didn't, I wasn't reading the bottom that said scan or press a to scan, but like, so I was just like, wow, the only way I can scan this thing is by picking it because you can harvest it and then it counts as a scan or you kill an yeah. animal, it counts as a scan. Um, so I feel like scanning wasn't explained. I wish that I knew that there was no dismantling because I was picking up everything, expecting it to like dismantle into parts that I could use for crafting. Wait, what? It doesn't do it, Zach. Good to know. Yep. yep. Good to know. I've yep. been picking up plates. I just, I now only pick up like ammo and aid and uh maybe guns if i or things that i think will sell well like for a decent penny um but yeah, yeah you're otherwise not like me then it. you're not a pack mule that'll carry hundreds of stuff and limp to my no, ship because and normally i would but because i'm tr i want to play as this character right this high octane character like i don't want to be stuck out of o2 all the time there's, Joe, Joe, I didn't know this helmet existed. There's a thing you can get that can remedy that. You should have it by now. I don't, I don't know what that thing is, but you and I can talk about it later. Um, there's no crafting ammo. What? Yep. Yep. It's it's so cheap, and you can get it at it, every general store, every weapon shop. It's so easy. It is kind of cheap. I guess it is. Um, but like, okay, you can't like load hot rounds or anything. That's just not part of the you game. No, what you do is you you get a mod mag mag and clip, but mag and battery mod that will turn it into incendiary rounds or explosive uh, rounds depending on the gun. This so is you little, gotta go there on the crafting tree. This is also a little embarrassing, but I'm not gonna tell you how long how far I was into the game to, before I realized that there was a captain's locker in the ship. Oh, yeah. Oh, Zach. Yeah. So. Your Good in ship inventory is a screen. Opposite yeah. wall down towards the floor, captain's locker. Yo, sick. Be careful, though. People have been talking about losing whatever they put in there when they 
um, it moved switches ships. to your it switches to your inventory. The that's inventory. what I that's my experience. What people have said it's actually like deleted items in there, which I don't yeah. know. Maybe they just weren't looking and it went to their cargo. But I mean, when yeah, I I don't usually use when that. I messed with my ship, I got rid of the the base module that's there, um, mm -hmm. and all of Barrett's stuff went into ship inventory. And that I was is like the most annoying thing. I changed my ship. I change my ship all the time. Like I'm always yeah. swapping parts in and out, and then I'm just left with hundreds of misc items. Yeah. Um, let's see. D data slates continue to play. That's one thing I didn't realize. I was just sitting there watching it as it played. <laughs> didn't think that I could try to, try to yes. just, like, leave the menu. <laughs> Dude, the That's first button so I pushed funny. was like, I'm not going to sit here and listen to this. And then I just yeah. moved away from it and kept playing. I said, thank God. Oh, it's yeah. brilliant. Uh, I, I accidentally brilliant. played when I didn't mean to play. The, I was like, oh, no, back out. And I was like, oh, it's now. still going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Um someone told me was it you 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 said something about you can no i saw a video about it. you can auto peek when aiming from behind cover oh yeah i didn't know that uh, but my character is not someone who really shoots from behind cover so neither uh, is mine <laughs> joe you your character sounds like they would go down the the performance enhancer as they're called in the game uh performance enhancers yes but no um because her parents were murdered and she had to like survive on the streets of neon. She doesn't, she kind of doesn't like neon uh, and that doesn't whole like thing. All that stuff. Yeah. That's uh, funny. She's done what she has to to survive. And occasionally she imbibes, but she's not like into that. Takes um, amp and runs around in circles. Right. Um, I don't know, but those were the things that I've, I've found that I like, I thought, man, I wish I knew that at the beginning. Um, I'm trying to think of what some of mine were the just like basically navigating around uh, and I keep hearing that like 12 hours is like the sweet spot for getting you know like figuring out all the junky stuff and right and actually getting into the game and I, I definitely can relate with that so like figuring out how to navigate around I don't know how many times when I'm trying to just like modify stuff at my outpost how many times I just like push a bunch of random buttons trying to get to the outpost like modification screen, like the build menu. It's like, it's like buried in the scanning menu as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's I, just like navigating around the game can be uh, so clunky. Well, and Zach, I don't know if you've had much opportunity to do this yet. You probably haven't, but navigating from place to place in your ship, right? Going from planet to planet or system to system. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they show you it. You have to go into the star map and then uh, find the thing and then press the right button to select it and then to uh, go to it. Mm -hmm. I accidentally pressed the scan button one time when I was outside of New Atlantis and suddenly it pops up the new or when I was outside of uh, Alpha Centauri and it pops up New Atlantis and several other landmarks on it. And I was able to then just, without going to my star map, from just flying, to like land on New Atlantis instead, Wait, without going to the map. Yeah, no. You, so you, do you just do the scan button. From yeah. where? From while you're in space, flying. If you're pointing at something. Yeah, if you're pointing, I mean, you just go into scan mode, and it, as you point around. Oh, uh, I tried that, and it wouldn't let me land, or it wouldn't let me do that. Sometimes it's weird. Sometimes it has a thing that says "show in star map" for some reason. And so then you, it takes you to the star map, but focus okay, on that point. But normally, this... go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Normally, it will have an option to like land or warp or something like that, or jump if it's in oh, a different right. system. Um, so here's a, here's a good shortcut for you. Go to your if you have a quest active, mm -hmm. and you're at your main like menu screen. If you hover down and hit, I know it's X on controller. I don't know what it is on PC. It will take you all the way through all the navigation menus to the location and then you just hit nice. land dude nice. i didn't know that optimal yes. menu it was, so my mind... if you ever lost just make it your active quest right have your active quest and then just do that and yeah. then it'll take you straight there my mind was blown when i realized the left bumper scan thing because then you could also scan over your quest objective also and uh, uh, yeah, I'll try that uh, more. That. I'll try that some more. That's, um, sometimes it's a little quirky. Good. Like if there's a planet in the way, it might think that you're clicking on the planet, yeah, <laughs> or targeting the planet. Oh, so yeah. it's not oh, perfect. You want but... easy survey data? 
Go ahead. Gas gas giants. You can't oh, land yeah. on a gas giant, so scan it from space. Yeah. And that's a survey data you can sell to Vlad, or I think you can also give it to the list guy. Yes. Who do you, any of you know who Brian David Gilbert is? He's no. this, he's on YouTube. He does really funny shit. That's he's the voice for the list guy, and he's it's just this his at his performance is is impeccable. It's just it's so good. Well, let's move on because we got a lot to get through. Uh, um, yeah. The next thing I want to talk about, them bugs. Oh, I see a lot of my. Uh... You know, before we. Oh my god, that's hilarious. This is the background. Uh, before we for get the too bugs. into it, yeah. Joe, you're talking about menu navigation being a pain in the ass. Um, I am super annoyed with how easy it is to do certain things mm -hmm. and how hard it is to do other things. So, like navigation, I have to click six times and do like two loading screens to do any navigation. But uh -huh. to buy something that's worth all of my credits in the world, it's <laughs> literally a single button click, and then I can't get any of that back. It's gone. All my credits you can do gone. buyback. You can do buyback. It, it's not the same. I guess that's sell, not yeah. I bought something that was worth quick like two thousand credits. Yeah, and no, I quick, reloaded. Quick it. save, brother. It, it was like two thousand credits. That's all I had at the time, and I couldn't sell it back. I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, oh you got my naked CEOs on there. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna watch these. yours. Some of yours are really good. Uh -huh, so yeah. we're, we're gonna start with Chase's. Chase gave me some some bugs he's found. Um. Oh, we're gonna watch a couple man. of those. This, this one he called smile. Airlock Bypass, and I thought, I was like, oh, did you do that by accident, or were you? Yes, trying completely, to do that? completely by accident. You were just trying just to like, look in the window, and then I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I was just trying to just jump around, and then like that's a speedrunner so, thing, man. So yeah, for our that's, audio that's... listeners, Chase is on the outside of an outpost trying to look in a window, and he suddenly just uh, what clambers. Through the and window, grab the windowsill the like, window. into like the a building. Place you could grab, yeah. yeah, yeah, crazy, dude. Yeah, and then this next one is yeah. called Naked CEOs. <laughs> Literally, those are the the high level CEOs of all the 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 corpo companies in Neon. They just they, all ran through the door naked. They just decided to come through naked. They, yeah. When you're in an emergency, you interrupted their orgy. Yeah, their corporate orgy. <laughs> Don't ask me about the bodies on the floor. I, I got arrested <laughs> and got upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone right. in Neon got pissed and this is their reaction to Dude, it. Dude, what is this gun? That's the regulator. Uh, this, this, that thing looks this is the I've used 99% of the game I've used only this weapon and I have n there's no way I'm stopping anytime soon. This next one is Barrett just scooting onto his seat <laughs> wow. over there. Oh, yeah, he goes, I'm all ears. Yep. Yo. Yeah, there's not yeah uh and then this one is chase getting mad at his toaster i was trying to get the food out <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to open the door you can grab like anything in the game so i'm trying to grab the door oh you're trying to rip the door off the hinges Dude. i'm trying to open it so i can get the food but look i figured out how to get in <laughs> yeah i was like how can you i use this bowl it. Oh, and then I just, I, saw, I just violently crammed it in there. Oh and my look, goodness. I got the food. Dude, nice. Booga booga. If there Dude, was a wrong goblin. Way to do something right here. Yeah. So here's Chase hopping around. Yeah. I don't know this, how that happened. Was just you, you trying to sprint in third person? No idea. That's so I odd. just I can't get it to happen again either, but This one I thought was funny was you loaded into an outpost and there's a Varun zealot there and then he just disappears there's like three of them a bunch of my shit was broken too he, it was like a raid an outpost raid or something and they just he did ninja vanish it. yep um and then i think this is probably my favorite one that you sent which was vasco taking a ride you can see him on the hood Yo, there <laughs> he's just hanging out I didn't notice him too until I was taking off, and then so he just shit. goes with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. yeah. And then you get then the aftermath. And then the aftermath. Make sure Vasco's still okay <laughs> yeah. from your yes. top window. <laughs> still That's out amazing there. that it loaded him into space right where he was. Yep. Yeah. I had a little, uh, a fun little um, bug I found where I threw a grenade into this room and it blew up a bunch of stuff. It blew the door right off of that thing, but the door was still <laughs> interactable. That's so, awesome. So it's laying there on the floor, but I can lift it up and put it down. That is awesome. Um, I came into it a system just works. one time and I found this ship just spinning 
as he was talking to me. Woo! Yep. Yo, yo, he's gonna be sick tomorrow. Wait, right. you, yeah. And he keeps he keeps switching directions. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, did you talk to him? Yeah, he kept. Is the guy calling you Charlie Three? Oh yeah, yeah. Charlie Three, Charlie Three. Um, I found a couple other bugs that pe- fun bugs that people found on the internet. Uh, this one's called. He, they called it Space Cowboy. They're trying to hop into here and go with them to space, but that wasn't working. And their companion came around and got hooked <laughs> on the ship. There he goes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> a safe trip. Yep. Because I'm going to need a new hire. Yeah. And then in this clip, this person was talking with this guy who's basically, thank you so much. You saved my life. And while he's talking oh. with him, the oh, spider God. creature comes and takes him out, annihilates him. And he got stuck in, in the comment. Uh, he said he got stuck in this screen. Oh, no. Yeah, the dialogue Dude. screen because the guy wasn't. He couldn't leave the dialogue because the guy That's was dead. So sad. Joe, you got to get the one of there's this guy who's like talking to someone mm-hmm. and non hostile. And Vasco runs up and just decks this person like <laughs> full force, punches <laughs> him right in the face. And it just like lays him out, exits the, the dialogue. And then Vasco's like, there are no hostiles in the area. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I I had a fun. A fun little thing. So, like, like I said, my character is kind of like a, she's kind of like suave. Uh, she can talk her way out of most things, but she likes to also, uh, have some conflict. I had, uh, you you all know Brogan, the the first main uh, Crimson Fleet guy that you that you oh, meet. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. So I talked him down. Oh yeah. And then after talking him down, you'll see here in a second. The, his guys kind of like let down their guns. They're like, fine, we're just going to leave, whatever. And I decide, yeah, go ahead, leave. And then I chucked a grenade at their feet. And then I opened I did the fire. Same thing. Yeah. yeah, we all did the same thing. Go Though ahead, mine man. was daytime when I did this, it was not dark. I mean, yeah. time passes. Yeah. So I watched a clip on Reddit of some guy who he, he, he primes the grenade and hucks it as he's walking up to them. And it cuts to dialogue. And then the grenade bounces off the guy's head and his head like bobbles. And he's like, what the fuck? And then it blows up and kills everyone. <laughs> Yo. Um, but yeah, I've decided that this is basically my signature move. I do this a lot now. I talk, I talk people down and then I oh, brutally... Then up. Yeah. I want the XP. So I'll, I'll do the yep. persuasion and then and then blow them up. Um, I also had a fun moment where I... Uh, I was fighting these spacers and I decided to go over here and lay a, I was going to, hopefully that guy was going to run over a frag mine that I put down, but he kept Mm -hmm. backing up and never went over it. But then I was running back over here and I looked back and a guy drops down off the tower and lands (laughs) directly on it. (laughs) What? (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Smart. So yeah, some real fun moments. Oh yeah, go look at my my thirty kilometers from the moon, and then my ten kilometers. Those are cool. Oh yeah, I got I did a just like a random radiant quest, and it was like go find rubble on something or other, and I went there and it put me ninety kilometers off the surface of the planet. Usually you're like ten thousand, so I was like, well, I'm taking this opportunity to fly to the planet. <laughs> Apparently, ten kilometers is your is the minimum distance, and this is I waited till it's daytime. Not. That's Al- as close as I could get. Alana, uh, um, Alana Pierce, flew through a planet. Well, <laughs> for this place specifically, the hitbox for it stopped me at 10k. I um, couldn't get any closer. There was a barrier it kept pushing me back. So it's funny because you look like you're slowly getting closer, but yeah, yeah. Oh, and then I like the oh do the do the do go, go down and do the Barrett one. The thanks Barrett. Oh, I like yeah. that one so much. This is so funny. I had the reason he's got his gun out is <laughs> I had just I had just boarded a ship, but like <laughs> he just turns Yo, around and he's like, just pointing at you. You're taken you're to this captain member. thing really well. <laughs> Mutiny. Let's get into Chase. Did you find any interesting mods for us to talk about? Um, to be honest, no. Right now, okay. the only one that I have. I don't even, it's not even a mod. It's just how to add the FOV change to the mm-hmm. INI file. I did that so I could get a hundred degree 
view because 70 is 75 is just too little um or whatever it is 70 or 75 um that one yeah it's just too small so set it to 100 that one's really easy to do but all the other ones are like there's one that will remove filters uh mxr covered them i just I watched his video but yeah. um, Dude, there's a lot of filters yeah, he, he has a there's a lot good... of filters and there's one that just removes all the filters i don't want to like modify game files though so i'm kind of waiting for one the creation kit to officially support mods because you don't have a lot of good stuff at this point mm -hmm. um because there's not like official mod support out so whenever that happens it'll be a lot better and then when there's like a mod organizer that can handle it i might be wrong that you can actually use a mod organizer but i don't really like to do it without those so well not a whole lot if that's it there, oh i will say there is oh. one that supposedly for 40 series graphics cards and i heard it also works for 30s um, for nvidia you can get it uses nvidia's frame generation instead of whatever bethesda has and i've heard it, it'll like my friend got from like i don't know whatever 50 60 frames to like 120 oh, nice. um, oh, because he's God. actually using his nvidia's api or whatever for mm -hmm. their frame generation i tried it and i got like one frame Ooh. per second <laughs> and then i had really bad input latency so no. i may i may have installed it incorrectly it was just copy some files over but i don't know anyways all right uh that one's also worth noting i think i saw that they have a, a dlss uh, mod out there too. Yeah, I was thinking about trying that one out, but yeah, the game runs fine except for in Aquila City, it's like I get like twenty frames <laughs> for some reason. Um, let's move on to our community spotlight, where we feature things that uh, we found from the community, or I found from the community. Um, yes. And if you want your stuff showing up in the community spotlight, we do have a Discord that you can join to share your stuff, and that makes it a lot easier for me to find. Otherwise, I've got to go look out at Reddit and the Bethesda Discord and various other places to find this stuff. Um, there's a lot getting put out right now. People are doing a lot of cool stuff. So, um, yeah, get on it and share it because I like showing it. Let's dig into it. First doohickey here. Um, there's an audio drama some guy's been working on, AJ Knight. Um, He's calling it First Contact. I listened to a little bit of it. Pretty cool. It's basically a series of like of the journals, the audio journals that you find around things. And it's um, from at least the first couple episodes are from a guy who works on Mars. <laughs> so really neat. If you're into some extra like fan based lore, go check that out. Uh, I as with all of these, I will put links in the description for where you can go to find these. Uh, this person, this is by uh, Avin Avi Nair. She made her own Starfield themed keyboard. What is that? Is that the eye? That's the eye. Your what? Yeah. I was. I thought what? it was a compass. You're right. That's the eye on the key. That is so cool. Uh, also, what the hell? The um, the USB plug is really cool. I think. Yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, that's insane. I'm so sad though the that the cred coolest. Stick. Mm -hmm. uh, I, okay, seriously, whoever designed the cred stick needs a huge ass raise. One I sec. Fucking, I know, and I'm. Uh, that's the only reason I'm annoyed. I didn't get the Constellation Edition is because you get one of those things. Oh. Ah. Oh, I've yeah. only seen and it a couple so of nice. times. It's so nice. It's so heavy. It's. Yo. Can you I'm fit in... your finger through that hole? I've always wondered if you could like spin it around. No, I can, can fit like my pinky. Uh, okay. Barely. The Dude, tip of my I could. I could just imagine people spinning them around your finger. You know. Yeah. No, I wear <sighs> my watch all the time too. Love it. Yeah. Feels nice. It looks nice. Um, uh, and the box is beautiful. So, love. I my have one of those edition. on my on the desk in my in my ship. The the Chronomark oh, whatever yep. case. Um, I don't know how you put your little. Let's let's go to something real quick. Hold on, I forgot to show this. <laughs> Tangent. Your dash, oh, my dash ornaments. Runners? My I tried to put some oh. stuffed animals up there for for me though I don't have the same dash, and mm -hmm. they kind of like leaned over and then fell and now they're at the like way in the feet. I can't pick them up anymore. I can't reach them because I can't go over there. <gasps> no. <laughs> Modifier ship. Modifier yeah, ship. Yeah, I know it'll go into my inventory, but I'm just yeah. like, 
No! So Squeaky! That took me... That took me an embarrassingly long amount of time. I had to figure out a whole tactic around it because what you have to do is you have to drop it out of your inventory, but not so high that it picks up enough speed that when it hits the ground, it tips over. But you also have to, you can't have it drop onto the ground because it has its, it has a certain axis locked so that when you pick it up off the ground and then look up, it will then be tilted because it's expecting it, it goes with your camera rotation right. i guess you could say so i had to find something of a similar height to drop it on and then move it over and even then it, you can't have it like touching the surface when you let go of it because it'll just pop out oh it's a total nightmare and the, and obviously like the topology of the hitbox is different than mm -hmm. that of what you see there it like slides off really easily and the friction's different so it's just it's a pain in the ass but I get to have pretty things right in my face when I fly. Nice. So, oh, hell yeah. There's an actual that's fish dope. in that fishbowl that swims around. <laughs> oh, man. So that's a mod you should work on, Chase. Yeah. For there's a few reason. mod ideas that I've had that I'm like, this would be cool if I knew how to do that shit. Do a radio. Radio would be cool. Yep. I mean, the galaxy, how would you get stick in your cassette? And how would you get to the radio? Music. There's no built-in way of doing that. Technically, just play music on your computer. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> yeah, just do that. Uh, this next one is a Star uh, yes. Frontiers statue that what they were making. The oh, that's of so it taking cool. Off. They got this the model off of um, Colt 3D. Colt's 3D. Oh, Zach, can you print me one? I want one of yeah. those. I love yeah. the Frontier. And it looks the little like little landing pad. Legs and it looks are like so the, cute. the little uh, jets turn on there because you can see that they're aligned or differently. Or they 3D printed three different models and yeah. maybe each of them has... Or they attach, just legs. attached them differently, I guess. Yeah. Glued them Actually, on honestly, for the sake of being lazy, you would just make them turn. Yeah. You just 3D print the same right, thing Right, and then times. you could just rotate it. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, that was really cool. Um, that's from a, a Cole is his name. I like that on a lot. BGS Discord. Our next one is a Lego at, uh, New Atlantis. I would buy that. By Terrace120 Take on my Reddit. Mind. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he didn't actually build this out of Legos. This looks like a 3D Lego modeling software. Yeah, so Lego has software that lets you model anything Ooh, and with their pieces, and then you can buy the pieces. What? Oh, so you can just is buy so the model cool. that you, you build. Yeah. They have, they'll have. they tell you how much they cost. Like, each piece is like, oh, yeah, this piece is 70 cents. What? This piece is a dollar. The future. Yeah. Oh, I did it a couple future. of times. It's awesome. That is um, amazing. But yeah, so that. that was really cool. And then we have uh, Disco Lexia on BGS Discord created this character sheet template. Um, she also had links for where she got the badge uh, emblems and stuff. So if you wanted cool. to go and create your character sheet with all of this, you could go and add all of this to it to have a nice little like printed out sheet. It's pretty nice. Very um, cool. We have <laughs> nails. Someone Very did up nice. their nails really nice. That is nuts. They did a that really good really job. Cool. I especially like the like the grav well ones. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, Very nice. We have some in game uh content from people. I gotta find the clips that I have it for though here. Uh da -da -da -da. oh. Um, I did a little test to see if you could kill key characters. And you at least can't kill Sarah. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> God. I tried uh, oh a lot. <laughs> God, She's yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I really tried. Man, this game's very lenient with death and your companions. Oh my goodness, Joe. The officer there is just watching. <laughs> and oh, until you throw a grenade. Until I threw a grenade. Then they're they're all over me like I did something wrong or something. Yeah, because um, who could say you did anything wrong there? <laughs> uh, so there was a Reddit user. I don't remember where I found the post for it, but I know I found it on Reddit at some point. But this guy found an easy way to steal lots of credits. <laughs> I saw this. That is so That's awesome. That's amazing. Because you can't. If you grab the credits, that would be stealing. Like, if you grabbed it mm -hmm. and picked them up, that would be stealing. But he grabbed yeah. something that isn't considered stealing, that thing, 
and scoop them into there. And then just, yep, scooped a little bit more. Oh my god, how much money did this guy walk away with? <laughs> and then so, he just walked insane. over here, hid, Yo. and stole it all. That's at the Red Mile. Is it? I haven't been curious. there. I know what I'm about to yeah. go do. I went there because I needed shielded cargo for all of my uh, illicit substances. So I could actually get around the world. I went to the Crimson Fleet for that. I just started that today. And... Oh boy, that's fun. Yep. Um, all right. The next one is called I Love Low Gravity. Uh, da -da. This guy here, he finds little ecliptic dudes standing out there. And decides mm -hmm. He's going to get a little perch spot. And he's going to take aim. And bam. Huh. Didn't work. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then there was another guy who got found by the warranty spam spammers all the way out 300 years in the future. Mm -hmm. The yep. ship came up and just started talking about how his ship's warranty is expired and he needs to Have purchase you not? a new warranty from them. I haven't seen Have this not? yet. Oh, I've run into them. You can, they will talk. And they yeah. will talk, and they will talk, and they will talk if you let them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here this it goes. Video go he just, just goes on it. Up. And then you can give him, like, 250,000 credits for a little card that says you have a warranty. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I, I told my adoring fan that he needed to pay me a subscription fee for uh, no, being allowed not to be around me. You did not Yo. extort that little man, did he you? Was like, he was like, yes, of course. Uh, why didn't I think of that? How about I buy a lifetime membership and give you everything I own? 50 credits and a empty roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Amazing. Dude, he got you figured out. Psychological what they, warfare. What if they like specifically chose that item or there's, if they like... There's not even a model for the empty roll of toilet paper. The other, it there? doesn't show up in the inventory anyways. I've, it probably I've does if I drop game. it. It probably does if I drop uh, it, but it's not in the inventory. It's oh my god. I That's wonder if they have so... it randomly generate like a garbage item or if it's like, no, specifically toilet paper roll. I don't know. Um, all right. So let's get into some player creations real quick. Um, or no, there's some more findings. They found the U.S. flag on the moon. Mm. Yep. There's a quest that'll or like an activity. I'll take you to the marker. Um, some people found the Mars rover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can go visit that. Curiosity. Uh, this person, I'm trying to find where it is in my notes <laughs> so I can tell you who it was. There is your empty roll of toilet yeah. paper right there. Yeah, I, I know it. So this was, is this called Toilet Toilety McToilet Face uh, by Interesting Bridge 513 posted this on Reddit. And then we have oh, another fun video. Uh, this one's called Excuse Me. Just watch. I'm having a nice conversation with this dude. <laughs> uh, really fun activity i think you had something so, almost similar yeah happen that's on yours. What, this is a lot what better was, what was so funny about mine though is that he's like is it something secret right as this lady walks by she's like and then <laughs> and then like at conversation ends and she's just sitting there just like giving him the side eye and then you can like you know follow him all right now we're getting into player creations Got a couple of outposts. This person made an outpost on Leviathan 4. Really nice. Not a lot of people posting outposts, so that's why I wanted to show a couple that I found. That's because um, outpost creation is not that great. It's not as fun. <laughs> it's not. It's it's all right. Yeah. Is it the same or different? It's, it was from better in Fallout 4. No, like, Fallout 4 was obnoxious. And it's better than that. Or uh, it's not as good as that. So interesting. Yeah. I've downloaded so many mods to make that better for me. Yeah. You'll need uh, them for this too. This person um, goes by the name of that one is sick. Zelt Koran made a mountain base. That's very. I cool. bet that was a pain in the ass to make though. Probably not all the way up there. It's honestly like. Did you imagine like just, slipping down here though? I guess you, you might don't have, done have a lot the, of the. You don't have a lot of options, but you. It's really easy to place stuff down. So okay. like. Uh, yeah, they did a really good job making it user friendly, but it's just there's not a lot of options. So, At least unless you do outpost the the skill for it, I haven't leveled into that very much, so maybe it gets a lot better. I don't know. For all you loot goblins out there, um, made this up, you know, on Reddit. 
has a little trick for you. That <laughs> takes no inventory space. Oh my god. You just the drop it. It is no, so it's gross. Not okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You I can't, can't use that. those minerals to craft though. Because they're true. not in your inventory. That's true. But you don't need all those cups and everything else in your inventory. Dude. I'm a loot goblin, but not not that bad. I'm this not a hoarder. This looks like a landfill. Yeah. Yeah. I should show you my base with my, like, like two dozen storage containers that I dump all my Maybe shit Maybe next into. time we'll take a look at your base. Ooh. You give us a tour. Maybe I'll pretty Live. it up a little bit for you. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Sure. Let's do it. Uh, Next up, uh, user yeah. Ballistic Shark. Went, or no, not Ballistic Shark. Nalha Sardana went and made a list of... Well, not a list, but a visual list of all of the different cosmetic ship parts. So so useful. Yep. So people can know what they get, they can find and where. Yep. And then we'll start showing off a few ships that people have made. This guy made. He was going for kind of a Lamborghini style. I think he pretty much nailed it. It's pretty cool. cool. Really cool looking mm -hmm. ship. Very sweet. Um, this guy I just liked because it looks Dude. like it looks really tough. It's like a flying flying brick almost. It's, it's a just, chunky boy. Yeah. This is chunky. like a charger look. This is a charger I, vibe. I, I like yeah. the recessed like <laughs> cockpit up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh that was Yep Cacao. I don't know how to say that. Sorry if I'm messing up your guys' names on your you know usernames. This was a warship made by Iziyama 94 looks Dang, really cool like man. a warship um I don't know where the guns are but it looks like a warship <laughs> so we'll go with that oh yeah by the way turrets are absolutely broken yeah they will just sh I have like the oh, C they class auto shoot right the yeah, they auto-shoot, they auto-target. They're kind of... You can't do the, like, target their engines to blow them up because they just right. destroy everything before you get the chance. Oh, dang. And you can't shoot your guns because there are turrets, so... Right. But they will destroy everything. So, this leads me into round two of OK, But Hear Me Out. Are you ready? Okay. So, we got a warship here, okay? But hear me out. How about the key? I saw this. I hope I can. I hope I can get this bug at some point. I but... tried. Yeah. I couldn't get it to work for me. He said he registered it. He no. He, 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 got... he registers a ship, sells it, at mm -hmm. the key, and then when he went to go switch his home ship, the key was available. It was an option in okay, his home. I'll ships. need to bring a so bring a stolen ship or something yeah. to the key. I couldn't get it to work. But wait, so you could buy? He bought. He didn't buy. It glitched into his ownership the key the a, a well, star it, station it, so so you can buy mm, certain what? ships at dealers mm. and there is a dealer at this space station called the key and some guy said that it showed up in the list of ships for him to buy or register i think it was his or it says stolen but it wasn't like his so you just registered it and there yeah, and go. he could move around parts. Uh he could he could fly parts. It. He literally, it uh, literally he said it wouldn't flew fly it. but he could land it on places. Uh, he said it didn't well, really it fly, but it, it didn't move around. You right. could probably undock it and warp because it's a, it's a ship. Yeah, so it is really funny. Uh, I could just imagine being like, you know what? Uh, own, like owners of the people who run this place. I'm who not going to say it. Ship? Yep. Don't say uh, it. I don't like you. Airlock and just remove the oh, section. Right there. No. <laughs> I'm there. going to buy the ship. It is my it ship. It is mine now. now. Do you have the picture of him landed on it on the planet? Um, not on here, but yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have the link so people can go look at that. Um, I also I want to add a link to what you've got. I've got one that a guy took a picture of the inventory or the in insides interiors of every hab that you can get. Ooh. And <sighs> not just the 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 normal ones, but like if you go to a the specific retailer for that right like factory or whatever. They have special parts that you can only Def get through them. Definitely get me that. And it week. has all those too. And he points out something: uh, Deimos and Stroud are the exact same interiors, just different colors. Okay. And Tayo and Hope are the same. And okay. then Nova Galactic is its own. So there's only three different kinds. 
All right. Effectively. Uh, well, get me uh, that link. Interiors. I will put that in the description. Yes, I will send that to you. Um, our next ship. All right, so the space station is great, okay? But hear me out. Nice. I don't know why. Gotta have this. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know why I don't see more of these. It's yeah, the, the it's most perfect late ship game. model. That has to be super late game to get those <laughs> giant ass helium okay. tanks. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So a little phallic, but hear me out. Loud and proud. Yes, the Planet Express. We got the yeah, Planet I Express. Was talking, I was talking about doing a, doing a Philip J. Fry yeah. uh, character. That's should, so good. Right? This is actually this is really good. That's really good. Maybe I can have Sarah dye her hair purple and I'll poke one of her eyes out. And she yeah. My Lilu. Put an eye patch on I'm it. all for poking yep. out Sarah's eyes. So. I'm sure oh, you are. <laughs> all right. Another user. Uh, oh. Stay yeah. Hoodies made the, a UNSC Pelican. Hell yeah. Sick. And then, and I think he also did a video uh, that shows how to make it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make this yourself, you can. Um, another user by the name of Bizzle94588. Uh, the Normandy. Normandy. Hey. Yo. Sick, yep. dude. Uh, and then Grunge Cowboy 73 uh, actually got featured by Bethesda on their Twitter account. He made the UCS wow. Enterprise. That is wild. Yep. And Very then cool. uh, we have the Millennium Falcon by Neversell. Very okay. nice. Okay. A Y Wing by Mr. Lion. Mm. Which this is a really good. It's really good. Rendition mm. of Someone did an A Wing too, and it looked fantastic. I tried to do an A Wing on my own, and I could not do it. I don't uh, have the brain. Now we're going to get. But go back to a little bit of silliness. Uh, <laughs> Condradice made Blastoise. <laughs> and Blastoise. He's even got the gun. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, that's man. so cool. And then, okay, but hear me out. Uh, I don't know how to say SP7R. I think they're going for Spacer or something like that. Um, made the Magic School Bus. <laughs> oh my goodness. The cockpit is all the way up at the top though. Uh, so that has to be the worst ship to get into to fly. <laughs> climb up a ladder. You just climb like, up like <laughs> three flights of ladders before you can go to the nice. cockpit. Um, and then this one actually was really touching. So, okay, Magic School Bus, but hear me out. Why not rebuild the ship that your kid built out of Legos? Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, this guy, his kid made made a ship out of Legos, and so he went and made it in the game. I've I've had my kids help Epic. me make design choices on spaceship. We maxed out the part number, and the ship is an abomination. It is <laughs> massive. Yeah. How much did it nice. cost? Uh, I mean, I put really good guns on it, and it was so it was like, I mean, I got the ship. The ship itself was worth like. 80k or something that I got for free and then I put another 250k into it or something. I told them I was like I'm not keeping this by the way. I can't lose all my money to this. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would be nice if they allow you to like you could save Imagine a, that. a ship blueprint. Yep. That would be really cool. Right? So you didn't have to go and like you could or find them in game. Just, you could just go and like dream up a, a build and be like oh I can't afford it yet. I'll save that and I'll come back when I can afford it and have it commissioned to be built. You know, I'd like to share would blueprints for them to with my friends. No. Yeah, that too. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, share with your friends. Yeah. Like export Duh. ship files. Yeah. 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 That'd be Base really cool files. too. Well, that's all I have thing. for the uh, community spotlight. Thank you to all the wonderful people putting out content onto the, the internet for me to go share. The Starfield subreddit is actually a very positive place. I was expecting yeah. it to be a total shithole, but like I looked at it and was like, oh, hey, look at that. People are actually being cool and awesome and supportive. So yeah. despite all the criticism the game's getting. They're sharing a lot of stuff and helping each other out too. Yeah. It's good stuff. Zach, you excited to jump back into Starfield? You were playing right I'm going to do right started. after this. I got <laughs> like, got to get like another hour in or something. Woo. 
You gotta hit that 12 hour mark and then you're you get the runner's high you know bro i'm at like four and a half hours right now <laughs> you're in the I'm despair not... phase at least that's yeah. what it was like for me where I'm it, like, is, it is i don't know if this game is absolute trash or if it's like the greatest thing in the world but i'm just gonna keep playing until we find out yeah it's interesting i'm constantly running into positive and negative experiences but yeah i don't know which what's what yet because i think it's, it's a it's a buggy mess. it's a buggy mess there's there's a lot of there's a lot of quality of life things that need to be changed, but like it's it's really good. It's really That's good. That's my opinion. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm enjoying oh, my no time doubt. in it. It's fun for sure. Well, that's all I have. That's it for our podcast. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. We do if you're listening to this on audio, we do a video recording and obviously there's video elements over on our YouTube channel at Happy Pants at YouTube. Um so go check us out there, go subscribe there. Um, we do have just a podcast one or channel also that's just for this on our happy pants channel we do a lot of things like let's plays and stuff like that we also we i made a separate channel just for this as well so if you just want the podcast you can go to the into the starfield podcast channel on youtube if you want podcast plus a bunch of other stuff happy pants channel great Uh, everyone wins uh but yeah that's it for us we're gonna go turn into pumpkins and I'll see you yes. guys next time. Bye. Uh, Bye. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>